Uh, hi, with this new video about differential equation uh, for class gray, for class uh, GS and LS. This is a part three. Uh, in this part, uh, we will talk about the equation uh, in the form uh, y prime plus a y equal g of x, where g of x is a given function defined over an interval i. How to solve this? differential equation y prime plus a y equal g of x to do that uh, we have to pass uh, two steps first we have to find the general solution of the equation y prime plus a y equal to zero which is c e minus a x the general solution already studied in part two and we have to find a particular solution t of the equation e. Uh, usually, the form of the uh, of this particular solution is given by the teacher or in the question. So, after finding the uh, function t and the general solution of the reduced equation, reduced equation is that mean equal zero. We add them and the general solution of the differential equation e is the sum of two functions the particular solution that we find here and the general solution of the reduced reduced equation c e minus a x okay let me uh, take an example if we have y prime equal y prime e equation differential equation y prime minus y equal x plus 2 the question asks us to prove that minus x minus 3 is a particular solution of the equation E. Check now, T is given by the question, by the teacher. Okay, and after that, we ask us to, to find, to determine the general solution of the equation E. First, T prime x, the, uh, let us replace T prime x and T of x and E to verify that it's a particular solution of E t prime x is minus 1 minus t of x is minus x minus 3 so we get x plus 2 so finally t of x verifies the equation e so t is a particular solution of the equation e first step we get the first step t particular solution of e now we find the general solution of the equation y prime minus y equal to zero which is c e x because of the formula is c e minus a x so it's c e a is minus one c e x this one is the general solution of the reduced equation find simply the general solution of e is the sum of these two functions this one and t of x we add them t of x and this one to get the general solution of the equation a uh, application consider the differential equation y prime minus y equal 2e minus x find the value of lambda so that the equation y equal lambda e minus x is a solution of e so uh, the question asks us to find a particular solution of the equation E. Uh, we remember that the general solution of the equation E is the sum of two solutions, T and H. T is this one uh, we, we will find here in part one. And uh, H is the general solution of the reduced equation that equal y prime plus a y equal to zero y prime the derivative of this one is minus lambda e minus x uh, substitute y prime and y in the differential equation here we get minus lambda e minus x minus lambda e minus x equal 2 e minus x by adding these two terms we get minus 2 lambda e minus x simplify e minus x and e minus x because e minus x is not equal to zero so we can divide by e minus x so minus 2 lambda equal 2 and lambda equal minus 1. We have lambda, so we have the particular solution of the equation E. So 
the particular solution, a particular solution of the equation E is minus E minus X. This one is T. Now we have to find the general solution of the reduced equation. The general solution of the reduced equation is C E minus A X. So we have the reduced equation here y prime minus y equal to zero. Uh, the solution is CE minus AX, so CEX. This function is H, the general solution of the reduced equation. But the question asks us to find the general solution not for the reduced equation, for the for E, which is Y prime minus Y equal to E minus X. Simply we add this particular solution of E, find it in part one, and the general solution of the reduced equation this one to get the general solution of e very easy and simple this one is the sum of these two functions let me take another application consider this differential equation okay uh, the first part it is uh, we have to find a particular solution we have to prove this one is a particular solution of e not difficult okay t prime x derivative of this one is 2 over x substituting the t prime and t in the equation of e we get 1 over 2 y prime so t prime x minus y so minus t of x equal half times 2 over x minus t of x put it here so minus 1 minus 2 ln x equal simplify 2 and 2 1 over x minus 1 minus the ln 2 2 ln 2 2 ln x so the equation e is verified then t is t of x equal 1 plus 2 ln x is a particular solution of the equation e so this one is t to solve the general solution of E still to find the general solution of the reduced equation let us write the, the reduced equation half y prime minus y equal to zero half y prime minus y equal to zero first is the rule here is y prime plus a y equal to zero so the coefficient of y prime must be one so we have to multiply by half by two to, to eliminate the half so y prime minus 2y equal to 0 and the solution is ce minus ax so ce 2x okay this one is h now the general solution of the reduced equation now to find the general solution of e simply we add this function to this function the general solution of e is the sum of this one the general solution of the reduced equation and the particular solution of the equation e okay in this chapter also in this part we will talk about the last par paragraph in differential equation of first order with the parable variable uh, sometimes the function we can separate x from y so we get here a function of x and here a function of y in this case it's very easy we simplify we integrate both sides to get to solve the differential equation let us take an example solve the differential equation this one you will check how I can divide uh, separate x from y first we take minus 2 e minus 2 x y to the second number y prime in physics we know that y prime can be written in the form of dy over dx because it's the derivative of y uh, with respect to x the variable is x so y prime derivative of y prime equal to dy over dx so now uh, replace y prime by dy over dx equal to x ey take the y here uh, exchange x and y, d, uh, dx with y so dy over y equal 2x dx now we integrate both sides uh, 
integral of d dy over y is ln absolute value y integral of uh, 2x dx is equal uh, and integral of 2x dx is equal to x squared plus k so now to get y we put we compose by e e ln y we get absolute value of y equal ex squared plus k you can divide this one ex squared ek and to get y plus and minus y is equal plus and minus we replace this constant by c okay application solve the differential equation x squared y prime minus 3y equal to 0 first we take minus 3y to the second member after that replace y prime by dy over dx and take y here and dx uh, here and x squared uh, above the 3 if we multiply if we do cross multiplication here and here we get the same answer x squared y prime equals 3y now integrate both sides integral of dy over y is equal uh, this one the, is uh, here I put the formula integral of 1 over y is len y len absolute value of y applying this uh, rule integral of 1 over x squared it is minus 1 over x so minus 3 over x plus k but the question asks us to solve the differential equation to so to find y not len of absolute value of y compose by e to find y when we put e here we get absolute value of y because e and logarithm are two inverse functions so uh, one of them eliminates the other one and e this one we can compose it divided into two exponential function because e a plus b is equal e a e b now e power k is a plus and minus e k okay so this one uh, we can replace it by c so finally y equals c e minus 3 over x where c is an arbitrary constant Cons uh, application 2 I take x y prime minus y equal to 0 and uh, the variable are separable how to do it simply take the y in the second member of the equation replace y prime by dy over dx equal y put the y here and take x dx in the second number and x in the second number we get this one we can uh, do the cross multiplication to get the same answers here or the same answer here integrate both, both sides the integration rule use it here is this one len of absolute value of y and this one len of absolute value of x plus k constant of integration to get y we compose by e e and len simplifying absolute value of y equal e len x plus k divides the e to two exponential e a plus b equal e a e b we simplify len and e here so we get absolute value of x times e k replace this constant by a new constant c and this one is a general equation uh, general differential equation uh, general solution of this differential equation uh, take this exercise as a homework and thank you to see this video